There I was, August 18th, 2015, not knowing how massive one YouTuber's impact on me would be until years later. My friend came over and introduced me to a series I would never forget. Minecraft Diaries. Nine-year-old me's mind was blown. A whole new world of possibilities was open to me, and that led to a journey that would rewire my brain forever. Hi, I'm Izumi. I'm a Minecraft YouTuber that started at only 11 years old. I accumulated 30,000 lovely subscribers by the age of 14 before having to sadly step away and cleanse my channel due to mental health struggles. I'm back though, baby! I came back fully on the scene recently and I've learned a lot coming back into the world and I wanna share my knowledge with you. So please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and help me hit 30,000 subscribers once again. Let's make younger me proud. Anyways, on to the topic you all are here for. How to make a Minecraft roleplay like Aphmau. Ah, uh, Aphmau. There are many, many, many roleplays that she has created. And so when it comes to breaking down how to create a quote-unquote Aphmau roleplay, first we have to list all the types of Aphmau roleplays, if you get what I'm saying. First, there's the traditional first-person roleplay, such as Minecraft Diaries, Mod Mod World, Minecraft Kindergarten, The Beginning of My Street, Minecraft Isles, Meteor Valley, and I think that's it. Now, just because it's first-person doesn't mean it doesn't have the occasional cinematic. No shame in the cinematic game. Second of all, there is the cinematic slash machinima roleplay, such as later on in my street, Phoenix Drop High, even though it does have a little first person scenes rarely sprinkled in, Minor Demons, Void Paradox, Hardpoint, Falcon Claw University, and there is also Ultra Nova. But let's just pretend like that never happened. Good? Good. So let's dissect what you will need to create a roleplay of these types. First, texture pack. Aphmau primarily used pure beady craft in her older roleplays. As she grew in popularity, her taste in texture packs also grew as she sprinkled in assets from other texture packs, as well as probably custom assets. I'm not sure the exact texture she added in, but this texture pack gives a similar vibe, so I would use one or the other, or hell, if you're feeling a little frisky, mix them both together. Second, shaders. Now, in the OG first person roleplays, she didn't use any shaders, but when she started to dabble, the shaders she used were similar to BSL shaders. I also recommend Chocopic and Oceano, but if your computer can't handle those, try out complimentary shaders. They are a lot lighter and still look beautiful. Next, mods. Oh boy, let's get into this. So I'm only going to be listing the basic ones you will need because I don't know every single mod used in her roleplays. For the first person interactions with characters, you will need custom NPCs. It's also used for background characters and cinematics as well. For your cinematic camera, you can use CMD cam or aperture. There are other options too, but those are the ones that are most commonly used from my knowledge. If you're into HD skins, you need four things. Krita, or another similar art software. Miners need cool shoes, or any skin making website or software. More player models, and Imgur or Discord. First, you'll need to make your basic skin in your skin making software. I use Miners need cool shoes. Then you need to open up the skin in Krita. Change the image size, make sure to switch to nearest neighbor. 1024 by 1024 is what Aphmau uses from my research, but feel free to play around with what resolution you like best. Then add your HD aspects, then download your new skin. Lastly, upload it to either Imgur or send it to a chat on Discord that you only have access to. Right click and copy image address, then paste into the skin URL category on more player models. If you want to give your NPCs an HD skin, you can do the same thing, but on their interface. And ta-da! With more player models, you can also sit, play, crawl, dance, wave, cry, bow, and hug, as well as adjust your player's height and add some goodies to your character. Now, I can't talk about HD skins and adding some goodies to your character without mentioning the Blockbuster mod. Now, I'm very new to this mod, but here's what I know. 
Through this mod, you can add HD skins just like more player models. You can also add custom assets like tails and ears to your character. You can also body act multiple characters all by yourself, and much, much more. With the emoticons mod, which is recommended by the creator of Blockbuster, you can sit, lay, all that jazz. If you want to know more, I'd recommend checking out the original creator, MC Horse. They go into way more detail and show all the really cool aspects of the mod. I'll link their channel down below. Now, I will warn you that using more player models and Blockbuster together can cause some glitches, so I recommend only using one or the other or playing around until you find a good middle ground that has the least amount of glitches. Now for the extra mods that are good to have, such as DecoCraft, Chisel and Bits, Flat Colored Blocks, Mr. Crayfish Furniture Mod, Better Foliage, and the list goes on, but definitely figure out exactly what story you're going for, then download the mods needed to bring that story to life. Now, this mod is outdated, but was used in MCD Season 1, and that is Minecraft Comes to Life. It hasn't been updated in a long time, but I thought I'd mention it for those who are curious about what it is. Now, I mentioned custom tails and ears earlier, and for those who want them, you will need to render them through a software like Blender, but I have never made them before personally, so I'd look at one of these many tutorials on how to make them. I'll link them all below. Now for scripting. I personally love coming up with a story. Scripting can be very, very time consuming though. But don't worry, just take your time and don't be afraid to go back and make changes. I'm not sure the process of AFMAO exactly, but this is what I recommend. This is my screenplay format. It's what I was taught in my creative writing for entertainment course, but with a few alterations to better fit my plotting style. You can script however your heart desires, but this is what most voice actors are used to. I also like to highlight each character's names in different colors so that it's really easy to find a character's lines within the script. But before I even start writing the script, I'll start outlining. I try to outline the whole season before writing a single episode, but sometimes the heart wants what it wants and I give into the temptress that is working ahead. One mistake I made in the past, was I would write one script at a time without an outline and I'd send them to my VAs right after I finished each one. That can get very overwhelming. What I recommend is writing the whole season scripts and then sending them to be voice acted. Now, all this scripty mumbo jumbo is really only for the cinematic role plays. For first person, all you really need is an outline and then decode the NPCs. To code the NPCs, you can do one of two things. Write singular lines through this little tabby wabby. Make sure to click um, not random lines or else you're gonna just get random, random lines in random orders. Or you can code a conversation through the dialogue option. This you have to make sure to connect correctly. Say you start with dialogue one. Then you connect to answers A and B. And then you click A and it leads to two. And you click B and it leads to three. It can get complicated, but it feels like a real video game. So it's pretty fun. Now, as for the map. I typically build all my own sets, but there are plenty of maps online. Just make sure it's safe to download and from a credible site. Also, credit the creator of the map if they ask for credit. And now, our journey is coming to an end. It's been a fun ride. Thank you for watching and thanks for taking interest in something from my childhood. I'm glad we could share this nostalgia together. I hope you all create the roleplay from your hearts. I recently released a roleplay called Charmed Economics and I'd love for you to check it out. I'll link it down below. Bye bye loves, see you next time.